some of the challenges that the union faces with, when uh, uh, in trying to organize new members? Uh, organizing new workers is, is, is a daily effort. We have a, a crew of organizers out in the field talking to workers, talking to owners of buildings, uh, developers, contractors. The truth is there's a gigantic underground economy operating in New York today that's very difficult to compete against. The first thing you have to understand about probably the building trades in general, but definitely District Council 9, it has always, always been about immigrants. This is a difficult way to make a living. It is dirty, it is hard work, it is physically taxing, and it is not steady work. It's very hard to make a living here. We don't get a lot of people coming out of Harvard to come here. We have always been about immigrants. Whatever the hot group is at the moment, that's who we are. Uh, we went through the European, actually it was the Eastern European Jews that started this when they came here. Then you had the Western Europeans, uh, Irish, Italian, Germans, Greek. Um, right now, we are largely Latino. What happens is people will do this break their back making a living like this and make sure their kids go to college. You know, there's a perception that the building trades is just a bunch of white guys, white males, who only want to help our sons and nephews. That is the furthest thing from the truth. We are a majority, minority, and always have been if you counted, you know, the Irish and the Italians as minorities when they were immigrants. It's always been about immigrants. So now you do have a growing Asian population in the construction industry. And as we're bringing them in, what we're finding out is they were scared to come here at first, but now that they're here, they cannot believe how much money they're making. They have uh, health plans for their kids. Um, somewhere off in the future for them is a pension. Um, they have free ESL classes at our training center for them and their families. Or in another generation or two, you won't see the Latinos here. They'll be gone. They will have sent their kids to college. They will retire and they'll be replaced by a new hot, whoever the new hot immigration group is at the time. Could be, I don't know, Iraqis, uh, could be stockbrokers, I don't know who's coming next to us, um, but it's, it's never people that are going to get rich here. That's all we ever promise you. Two things. One, you won't get rich, and two, you will lose weight. That's all we can promise. And, and um, the Asian community that you're talking about, relatively new as a group. There's always been, you know, this is like the United Nations. You name a country, we got somebody here. But as a group, suddenly the Asians are starting to come in more. And um, I think what it's going to take is a few of them that have positive experience here and realize we're not immigration. We, we're not here to send you back where you came from. Uh, we just are here to offer you fair days pay for fair days work, nothing more. We, we never promise anything more than we can deliver. And I think we get a few success stories and they'll, they'll spread the word the same way every other group came through here. So, you know, yeah, there's cultural issues, but I think it gets dealt with among the group. A couple of people have to come here and have a positive experience. There is no group that intrinsically is better at construction than any other group. What we typically get are the people who don't have opportunities anyplace else. We're happy to, to bring you here and teach you from the ground up. And what are the union's uh, main organizing drives this year? That's a good way to put it when you say this year. Organizing should be more universal. Um, unfortunately, you, know, you find yourself caught up in, in just scrambling against what, you know, you're putting your fingers in dikes all the time. Um, there are some national campaigns, there are particular companies that are bad everywhere and, and we have um, a common enemy with our sister councils in other states. Uh, the one that comes to mind is uh, Pulte Home Builders are all over the country. Um, bad, bad actor. Um, but you know, it's sort of like Walmart, you would say Walmart is a national issue and, and, um, and, and everybody is always focusing on that. Now right now, our biggest problem right now is people taking advantage of the economy and, and where they believe that workers are happy to just have a job and I'm going to give this guy a 20% pay cut, 50% pay cut in some instances. On the other end of 14th Street is a large, large housing development, Peter Cooper Village, uh, Stuy Town. Same workers have been there for 30 years. They suddenly decided as the contract ended that 
they deserve 50% of what they were making. Now, I don't care what you make, 50%. You know, your bills kind of come up to your salary. It's impossible to work for that. So the, the, this is a strange situation where they overpaid for the, for the property and now they're trying to cut corners everywhere they can. Um, so the, the uh, management agent there, uh, Rose, Adam Rose Associates, is uh, the number one target for us right now. We're, everywhere he is, we will have guys in front. Uh, you'll see with that blow up rat and uh, you know picket lines, um, and, and he is a symptom of a larger, larger issue, which is residential uh, construction and, and um, current residential buildings as a whole. Uh, little by little, they are also trying to cut back salaries for everybody. You know, they're cutting back their painters, their doormen, their their uh, supers and janitors. Everybody, they think because. In this economy, you're scared to, to lose your job, you'll, you'll work for 80%. And they're trying yeah. to take advantage of, of a situation. You know, if you didn't have bad guys like that, you wouldn't need the good guys like us. Um, so so that, that, that's a huge, huge issue. Hotels, also lately, there are a lot of new hotels going up. And, and the same thing, they're trying to do them in a different way. Uh, we have actually had to make concessions uh, project labor agreements that deal strictly with the hospitality industry to, to try to stay out in front of it because if you start to lose the hotels in New York City a lot of hotels here and uh, you got a problem. Well, who are some of these hotel chains that are, that are opening up now in New York? It's every one of them. The ones that you think of as traditionally good employers, good actors like your Hilton's and your Sheridan's are suddenly deciding I don't think I want to pay you guys anymore. We're going to cut it down a little bit.